Is it possible that many things you've been told about health is not true? We live in a world where information is at our fingertips, and yet, it's easy to fall into the trap of widely accepted health misconceptions. We've all heard them. Don't eat after 8 in the evening or, you must drink 8 glasses of water a day. But how much of this is fact, and how much is merely fiction? Let's embark on a journey of discovery, where we'll challenge some of these deeply ingrained health myths. Today we're going to dive into the world of counterintuitive health tips. Yes, you heard it right. We're talking about health advice that may seem contrary to common belief, but is backed by scientific research. Our health is a complex puzzle and sometimes the pieces don't fit as neatly as we've been led to believe. For instance, you might think that skipping breakfast will lead to weight gain. But is that really the case? And what about fats? Are they the villains they're often portrayed to be, or could they play a crucial role in a healthy diet? Exercise, too, is a subject shrouded in misconceptions. We're often told that more is better. But is there a point where too much exercise becomes detrimental to our health? And then there's the age-old debate about sunscreen. Is it truly our best defense against skin cancer, or could it be doing more harm than good? We'll explore these questions and more, as we unravel the truths hidden beneath layers of misinformation. It's time to question what we think we know and open our minds to new possibilities. After all, knowledge is power, and when it comes to our health, we all deserve to be in the driver's seat. So buckle up, because we're about to challenge the status quo and shake up some of your long-held beliefs. Prepare to have your mind blown as we debunk some of these health myths. Ever heard the saying, breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Well think again, it turns out that skipping breakfast might not be such a bad idea after all. Surprised? Don't be. Let's delve into the world of intermittent fasting. This is a pattern of eating that cycles between periods of fasting and eating. It doesn't tell you what to eat, but rather when to eat. One popular method involves daily 16-hour fasts, which could mean skipping breakfast and eating your first meal at lunchtime. For some people, this can lead to significant health benefits like weight loss, improved mental clarity, and a reduction in the risk of chronic diseases. It's important to remember that what works for one person might not work for everyone. Consult a healthcare professional before making any drastic changes to your diet. Remember, not everything you've been taught about eating habits holds true. Fat is bad for you, right? Well, not always. Let's unpack this common health misconception together. When we talk about fats, it's important to acknowledge that they're not all created equal. There are healthy fats, and then there are unhealthy fats. Yes, you heard it right. Not all fats are the villains they're often made out to be. Let's start with the good guys, the healthy fats. These include monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. They're found in foods like avocados, nuts, seeds, fish, and olive oil. These fats are essential for our bodies. They provide energy, support cell growth, and help protect our organs. They're even involved in the production of certain hormones and absorption of vitamins. Now let's talk about the bad guys, the unhealthy fats. These include saturated fats and trans fats. You'll find these in foods like fatty cuts of meat, full-fat dairy products, and many processed foods. These fats can raise your bad cholesterol levels, increase your risk of heart disease and stroke, and even contribute to type 2 diabetes. But here's the kicker. The problem isn't just the type of fat, but also the quantity. Even healthy fats are high in calories. So, moderation is key. Picture it this way. Healthy fats are like the heroes in a movie. They do a lot of good, but if they start taking over the entire plot, things can get out of balance. Unhealthy fats, on the other hand, are like the villains. They cause trouble, and it's best to keep their roles to a minimum. This brings us to the point of understanding that our bodies need a balanced diet. It's not about completely eliminating fats, but about choosing the right types and amounts. Eating healthy isn't about deprivation, it's about making smart choices that benefit our bodies in the long run. So don't shy away from fats, embrace them, but choose wisely. So don't be afraid of fats, but do choose wisely. Think exercise is the ultimate key to weight loss? You might be surprised. Let's dive into the role of diet versus exercise in our weight loss journeys. On one hand, exercise is essential for maintaining overall health. It strengthens the heart, reduces the risk of many diseases, and can boost mental well-being. But when it comes to shedding pounds, it might not be the magic solution we often believe it to be. Here's the thing. The energy we burn while exercising is a small fraction of our total energy expenditure. The majority of our energy is spent on basic functions like breathing, circulating blood, and cell production. This is known as our basal metabolic rate or BMR, so to lose weight, we need to create an energy deficit. 
This means burning more calories than we consume. And while exercise can help, it's challenging to create a significant calorie deficit through exercise alone. On the other hand, adjusting our diet can have a far greater impact on this energy balance. It's often easier to cut out a few hundred calories from our food intake than it is to burn the same amount through exercise. This doesn't mean we should shun exercise. It remains a crucial component of a healthy lifestyle. But it's important to note that for weight loss, diet plays a more significant role. So, remember diet plays a larger role in weight loss than exercise. Don't underestimate the power of a balanced, nutritious diet in your weight loss journey. Believe that sunscreen is the best protection against skin cancer? There's more to the story. Sunscreen is indeed a vital tool in our fight against skin cancer. But like most things in life, it's not quite as simple as slather on and go. In our quest to protect ourselves from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays, we may be missing out on one of its most significant benefits. Vitamin D. This essential nutrient, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin, is primarily obtained through direct sunlight exposure on the skin. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in our overall health, aiding in calcium absorption for healthy bones, supporting our immune system, and even helping to regulate mood. Now this isn't a call to ditch your sunscreen and bask in the sun's rays unchecked. Far from it. But it does highlight the need for a balanced approach. Some sun exposure without sunscreen, particularly in non-peak hours when the sun's rays are less intense, can be beneficial. Experts suggest around 15 to 30 minutes of sun exposure on the face, arms, back or legs without sunscreen a few times a week is enough to enjoy the benefits of vitamin D. Of course, factors like your geographical location, skin type, and the time of year can influence this. So, while sunscreen is important, it's also crucial to get some sun exposure for vitamin D. Well, that was a whirlwind of health tips that might have turned your world upside down. We've covered a lot of ground so let's quickly recap what we've learned today. First, we busted the myth that skipping breakfast is the cardinal sin of dieting. Contrary to popular belief, intermittent fasting, which could include skipping that morning meal, can actually help to stimulate fat burning and promote weight loss. Of course, it's not for everyone, so always listen to your body and do what feels right for you. Next, we tackled the demonization of fat. Yes, trans fats are bad news, but not all fats are created equal. We learned that healthy fats, like those found in avocados, nuts, and fish, are actually essential for brain function, hormone production, and overall health. So don't shy away from that avocado toast or handful of almonds. Thirdly, we debunked the widely held belief that exercise is the magic bullet for weight loss. Don't get us wrong, exercise is fantastic for our health in many ways. But when it comes to shedding pounds, research shows that diet plays a far more significant role. That's not an excuse to skip the gym, but it's a reminder that you can't outrun a bad diet. Lastly, we dove into the sunscreen myth. Yes, protecting our skin from harmful UV rays is crucial, but slathering on sunscreen isn't the only way to do it. We learned that some sun exposure is actually good for us, providing essential vitamin D. The key is balance and knowing your own skin's tolerance. Remember, when it comes to health, it's always important to question and learn. Don't take everything at face value. Our bodies are complex and what works for one person may not work for another. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay healthy. We hope you found these counterintuitive health tips interesting and enlightening. For more such eye-opening insights, do consider subscribing to our channel. Remember, the content of this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be used as a substitute for professional medical diagnosis, advice, or treatment.